everybody in today's video i'm really excited because i'm going to be talking about some of my favorite things which is spring spring fashion and color trends um so this is the time of year where i i've already been kind of researching but i'm a little late to the video but this is the time of year where i really start looking at like what's going to be in style for spring and summer what type of shoes are in style for spring and summer like handbags colors clothes cuts silhouettes prints all this stuff because um I usually buy several things for each new season and I try to incorporate my old stuff as well but um, I definitely go out and purchase a few trendy things every season every year <laughs> and so um, I recently cleaned out my closet and I'm trying to figure out like what new sandals I need to bring in to sort of like fill the space this year and um, I'm looking into like clothing and I really see that spring trends are going to be a little bit more ra um, romantic than what we've been used to seeing. There's going to be a lot of like florals and floral prints and floral appliques. You're going to be seeing like flowers on shoes, um, like flowers on sandals. There's a lot of um, sort of like just airiness and I feel like very romantic type styles that are coming in as opposed to more of the 90s aesthetic that we've been seeing, which is maybe a little bit more like 90s gap, like khakis and monochromatic and things like that. That stuff is still on trend, um, but I just think things are going a little bit more romantic from what I've seen, like a lot of floral prints, um, pinks, peach, obviously Pantone color of the year was peach fuzz. Um, red is really, really gonna be hot for spring and summer as well, like bright red. Um, but just a lot of a peplum tops are back in style from what I've seen. Um, ballet type stuff like ballet flats, ballet style clothing, like little baby pinks, like wrap styled shirts, like kind of picture a ballet dancer sort of um, going to practice, like stuff like that. And so um, I wasn't super excited about Pantone color of the year. I'm not a huge fan of peach. I feel like it's a really hard color to pull off, especially on my skin tone. I feel like either it could be really flattering or it could really like just draw all the color out of my hands and make my hands look dead. Corpse hands, not attractive. Um, and so I was kind of doing my research and I came across this on Pinterest, you guys, and oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Look at this color palette. It is so beautiful I saw this and I was just like oh my gosh I feel like this is something interesting for spring or at least for me it is I feel like me normally in spring I go more towards like Easter egg color pastels like purples like lavenders pinks blues that kind of stuff greens and I feel like this palette is very romantic, which is goes along with what I was just saying with fashion. It also gives me like sunset vibes. Oh my gosh, you guys, I love a good sunset. New Mexico has some of the most beautiful sunsets on earth. If you are a sunset lover or even a sunrise lover and you have not been to New Mexico, you're really truly missing out. Um, but I feel like it gives me sort of that vibe. It's also giving me a vibe like I'm in the desert, I'm in Arizona. Um, I feel like these colors will really play up really well, like against a tan as well, like if you get a little bit tan in the summer. Um, and I'm just, I'm excited to try something a little bit different than what I normally do. I really am craving like neons and neon pastels. And I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Those are like my go-tos. But I just feel like um, these get me excited for something just a little bit different and something that I wouldn't normally reach for in the spring. So I pulled a bunch of polishes out from my collection and you guys look at this. I'm like dying right now. I just feel like this is so not typical. I feel like I pulled out a lot of things in my collection that I haven't worn. I feel like I've pulled out a lot of things in my collection um, that I probably wouldn't typically pull for spring but i'm excited and so um i'm gonna go with the first color here in the corner and start to show you some colors that i feel are similar to that or giving me that type of vibe um that i would like to possibly wear in the spring and so first up is going to be zoya's joey you guys this is so beautiful i remember swatching this and thinking this was a really gorgeous color and I also, um, my son's name is Joel, but we call him Joey. So, of course, I love the name. Um, 
disregard this first one I sort of messed up and so we'll, we will talk about that later in the rotation <laughs> um, but this is Joya Joey you guys look how pretty that is I just feel like it's very classy and chic um, it's a beautiful neutral but then I also feel like it's a little bit eye-catching I think this would be beautiful as a pedicure as well and I am loving it like I think I'm gonna maybe try and put stuff like this on in the next few months before I go into like full-out neon um, I'll probably sprinkle some neons in like neon pastels, but I just am really loving this color. Let me know if you guys have this and what do you think? I just, I think it's flattering. I think it's chic. I think it's really, really pretty. Um, and then the second polish that I pulled giving me similar vibes is going to be OPI's small plus Q equals heart from the original Hello Kitty collection. When this collection came out, you guys, I was so excited. I wanted every single one. And then I don't think I've ever worn this. I think I may have swatched it, but I've never like worn it. Um, and so this will be two coats of the small, small, of, yeah, small plus Q equals heart. You guys, this is so gorgeous. I am very excited to try something like this on. I just think I recently bought, um, I should do an Old Navy haul. Let me know if you guys are interested in seeing an Old Navy haul. I recently went in store and purchased and also ordered a lot of stuff online. If you want me to do a little haul and try on, let me know. Um, but some of the stuff I picked up, I can really see these colors um, working well with. I feel like I'm going towards a little bit more of a um, subdued aesthetic sometimes. <laughs> I do a little bit of everything, you guys know. But um, I'm going a little bit more minimalist. And I feel like this goes along with that vibe. Okay, so next color I want to talk about is going to be this little bit of more like a little sherbet type shade. I think this is so pretty as well. It is a little bit peach fuzzy, but I feel like it's not as, um, I don't know. I just don't feel this shade is going to wash me out. And I also pick stuff that I feel um, won't wash me out. I feel like this turned out a little bit brighter than I was expecting. So it's not an exact match. When I kind of did the bottle thing, I was like, oh, not exact. But I got what I got to work with, and that's what I'm going to do. So I think in the bottle, this does not look as bright, and I think that's kind of what threw me off. So this is Ice Cream Nails Thousand Island. <laughs> I hate Thousand Island dressing, you guys. Hate with a passion. So I used to work at a restaurant when I was in high school, and they would make homemade Thousand Island. I feel like everything but the kitchen sink is in Thousand Island dressing, and as a picky eater, that's just a no-go for me. Like I'm just not a fan, and I'm just like, no. <laughs> but this is a really beautiful shade, you guys, and I just feel like it is very flattering like it's bright sort of like a pastel -y neon it's bright it does give really beautiful spring vibes i think this would be a beautiful pedicure as well i think it's showing up a little bit maybe that's a little more color accurate getting it closer it's not as bright on camera as it is in person but this is really gorgeous you guys i just i love this right here love 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 so um i just think that is perfect Next, I'm going to go to show you guys sort of some of this like a little bit more pinky shade. I feel like the shade I picked matched a little bit better in the bottle than maybe in person, but I'm really loving this. So this is Color Club's Hot 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 Pants. This is a, such a beautiful like pastel neon peachy pink. Um, I ended up purchasing this because I can't think of her name now. Oh my gosh, she had a YouTube channel. She used to wear glasses. She still does videos every once in a while for noodles, nail polish. Um, oh my God. My mind just went totally blank. Um, if I think of it, I'll, I'll put it down here. <laughs> um, but she would rave about hot, hot, hot pants like any chance she got. And so I, this was one of the first polishes that I was like influenced to buy. And I think it is so beautiful. So here it is. It's very flattering. I think if you have a tan, this is so beautiful. I think this would be a beautiful pedicure as well. And I'm just like really loving it. I don't think it fits exactly what I was looking for here with this shade. But I am not sad about it. I just think it's beautiful. It's been a really long time since I've worn it. And so I think I would definitely want to get that on the nail sometime soon. Um, then next we're going to go into this like a little bit more... Um, sherbet-y shade like a little bit more orangey shade 
And I have a couple of polishes for that one as well. And the first one is going to be Wet n Wild. I had a hard time matching this um, and another one. And I was like, having thousands of polishes, do I have holes in my polish collection? Like, do I need to buy more polish <laughs> to fill these holes? I don't know. Um, but I pulled a couple things that I thought were similar. So this is Wet n Wild Mega Last Club Havana. Um, this was sent to me by a subscriber. I am obsessed with Wet n Wild Mega Last, you guys. I just, I'm so sad these got discontinued because I just feel like they were perfect. But um, this on the nail is really pretty as well. And normally I would wear something like this maybe more in summer or fall. But for spring, like, I just feel like it's groundbreaking, honestly. <laughs> I'm so excited. I think it's beautiful, you guys. Look at how pretty that is. So, so pretty. Um, then next up, the other shade I picked for that particular color is going to be Thandy from Zoya. So this is one of my favorite Zoyas ever. Um, it's one of the first Zoyas I ever got. It's sort of like an orangey creamsicle shade. And then it has like this little bit of like silvery shimmer, as you can see there. Um, and it just gives it like a little bit of a sheen on the nail. I'm not talking like indie shimmer, but, um, you know, there is just this tiny bit of a shimmer that has some sheen and you guys look at that on the nail. So pretty. Great formula on this one too. Two coats to get opaque. Super, super pretty. I know these are not really similar in person, but like I said, this is my interpretation <laughs> and I really, really loved that one so, so much. Then there was this like really deep sort of, um, like bronze type color this almost reminds me of the color of like when you're gonna do a like a self tan and you <laughs> put the lotion in your hand that's sort of the color it is and then when you spread it out it kind of like you know goes all over the body that's the color that it was kind of giving me vibes for and so the first polish is maybe a little bit brighter than that but i think it's perfect i think it's really beautiful so this is revlon's ultra hd snap in hot stuff um i bought these because of the bottles being different because that's how i am as a crazy nail polish woman um but i've never worn this and i'm excited to wear it i think it has an amazing brush um it's wider like i like i think it might be a little weird to paint with this big huge cap and i don't think that comes off but we'll see uh, but look at how pretty this is I think that's perfect for spring. It's like plenty bright. I think it would be a beautiful pedicure as well. Um, it gives you some brightness and I just like, I'm excited. I need to wear that soon. I just, this whole color palette, you guys just has me so pumped up. So that's the first one. Then I went a little bit uh, more towards like a brown and this is going to be Hong Kong. Hong Kong Sunrise from OPI. This was sent to me by a polish friend. And this is sort of like a grandma, sort of like shimmery shade. I feel like a lot of the collections that are coming out now do have like some shimmer and some um uh, like a different type of finish than a cream. They're a little bit shimmery, they're a little bit like opalescent, and so I feel like this sort of touches on that. And I think with a top coat, this would be really pretty. It's a very 90s, I feel like very 90s vibes. But you guys, look how pretty that is. And I think spring would be a perfect time to wear this. Normally, I would pull out something like this in the fall. Um, but, I mean, why not spring? I think it's really pretty for spring. This is one color that really threw me off. I feel like this matches the color on the palette the most. And this is called My Italian is a Little Rusty. This in spring kind of does throw me for a loop, I'm not going to lie, but I think OPI actually had a color like this in their spring collection this year. Um, so it is obviously trending because they did do like a little bit of a, um, like a rusty type of brown color. And look at this on the nail. This is really pretty. I feel like I've worn this once in the fall and I really loved it. It had a great formula. Um, but if you were to do some sort of like Skittle, maybe where like you combined some of these colors together... I think that would be gorgeous, right? Like you kind of, let's say you would do these three colors together. Like that would be beautiful in a Skittle. And I do think it reads spring completely. So threw me for a little bit of a loop, but I'm here for it. I'm feeling it. When I see it next to these other colors, I'm like, I get it. And then last up, we're going to talk about this sort of 
brighter orange here on the bottom it's a little bit pinky and a little bit corally and this was one i also had a hard time matching i feel like it's just a little bit brighter and um i just had a hard time finding stuff that i thought was close but this was a little too neon but i felt like it fit with the aesthetic of the collection and the color story and this is called artificial or artificial orange from orly Orly has the best neons, you guys. I feel like they are so underrated when it comes to neons, and they just have amazing neons with amazing formulas. Um, you get a lot of product for the price. These are some of like the biggest polish bottles you can get. And I just think that this is like freaking out the camera. Um, but this is a very bright um, coral neon shade. I've worn it in the past. I love it. I think it's super flattering on the nails. And I just, if you have a tan, it brings it out. It's a beautiful pedicure. I just really love this color so, so much. So that's my first pick. Um, then I went a little bit darker and not as bright. Um, and this is going to be Kitch You Later from Orly. I think this was from last year's spring collection. Um, but it's just a little bit more of a subdued type of orange and it has a great formula. And it is bright, but I mean, obviously next to a neon, it doesn't look as bright, but I think this is beautiful for spring. It has great formula on this as well. Like this as a full manicure, I think is like chic, but bright, but fun. So these are the type of things that like, I want to sprinkle in and now in the springtime, for sure, this type of colors. I feel like I neglect these in my collection. And when I was searching through stuff, like nothing really popped into my head to fit these colors. And I feel like that's kind of showing that these type of colors like aren't on my radar, honestly. And then last up, this is something new that I picked up. So this is from Kiera Sky and this is called Peachy Keen. So this is also a neon, but I feel like it's not as bright as the Orly and it definitely has like a different tone. This is def like more straight up orange where this has a little bit more pinky coral. Um, but I do know this is the neon because it dried very matte on the nail wheel. But it's gorgeous in person. Um, I feel like it's really bright. Again, sort of freaking out the camera. But um, this is sort of maybe, maybe these two could be more into like a spring to summer transition. Or again, like if you're doing a little bit of like a Skittle, like this works. These three colors work. Or you could even do like from the lightest to like up to the brightest or something like that on your fingers. I think it would be so, so pretty. I might actually try something like that. So this is some like spring inspiration for you all that i just feel is a little bit like non-traditional if you feel this is traditional and like you wear these type of colors all the time you're a genius because for me i just was like wow this is really cool this sort of is like stepping out of the box and um i'm gonna have some of this stuff definitely on my spring rack to wear because i'm just excited for orange all of a sudden <laughs> and it's not really my favorite color to wear i wear a lot during the fall i wear a lot during halloween month um and then in the summer i wear a lot of neons but oranges that are not neons like i really truly just don't put them on the nail as much as i should and after seeing this like i'm just like why why not why have i not done that what's wrong with me um so let me know what you think of this color palette let me know what you plan to wear for spring do you guys do spring fashion what are your thoughts on what's coming up for spring and fashion if you do do you want to see my old navy haul in a try on and um do you have any of these polishes um do you think you'll pull any type of colors like these going into spring uh that is it for this video you guys if you liked it please make sure to click the like button down below if you I actually, and then I have one more color palette pulled up that I'm really excited about. So if you guys liked this video, in the comments, let me know if you want to see the next color palette that I'm really excited about for spring. And if you don't, it's okay. I understand. <laughs> You'll see kind of where I'm going once I pull out a spring rack, probably if I film a video on that. Um, but if you like this video, please make sure to click the like button down below. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please do. And thanks you guys for watching. I will see you all in the next video. I hope you're having an amazing evening. Bye.